Stupid things I did as a kid. Oh my god. All right, little Timmy watching this. All right, you got nothing on me. I was a really dumb kid growing up, and I was a really eventful 10 years for my parents. Now, usually when you're zero to three, you can't remember anything. Like, it's just all a blur because your brain's still developing. But somehow, I have a memory of me at three. Maybe I was four. But I genuinely thought, no, 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 not even kidding. I genuinely thought I could turn into a bird. At any moment, I could turn into anything I wanted. So I turned into a bird. Oh, I, at least I thought I, and I thought I could fly so we had to test it out and what better place to test it out than the stairs yeah i genuinely thought i could take flight like jordan so i jumped and yeah you know how it goes Ooh, Ooh that's gotta hurt uh yeah, I don't remember much after, of course. But I do remember this gate being installed onto my stairs. It's a lost memory. It's like a goddamn snapshot. So it's tough to remember, but I had to include it in this video. Learning how to ride a bike, that shit was like a struggle for me. I don't know why. Every time I tried to get on a, a regular bike, I would just fall. And eventually, I did learn how to ride a bike. And I, I thought it was like the smartest kid on the planet so there i was like the goober i am riding my bike and i fell Ooh, it was it was a tough fall and guess what i did i literally just sat on the street and f <laughs> cried like what is that gonna do i was at some random neighbor's house and i was over there on the street like <laughs> yeah i really thought some random neighbor was gonna come and clutch like bro i'm so vulnerable on the street a car could come down any minute someone could f abduct me like it, it was just a terrible plan of action like at least get off the street or maybe hmm, hobble your ass home like i didn't break my leg or nothing i just scraped my knee and i couldn't even like walk home like it was like the end of the world eventually i got better at navigating the street until one day i thought i thought it was that guy i was putting up threes like crazy like you, you should have seen me out there i was like stephen Kirk. i was cooking up man like you should have seen me and car turns down the street he's watching me while doing some yard work or something i don't know i wasn't really paying attention to him but i shoot this one particular shot with the back basketball and motherfucker oh my god it bricked so bad and it started rolling towards the car like really fast you know how like when you shoot a basketball it just f***ing clangs off the hoop then it just rolls so fast you gotta chase it i booked it for the basketball and let's just say car just f***ing slammed the brakes and beeped because the basketball went right in front of the car and my dumb ass almost got ran over my dad's like duck what the fuck? And yeah, I got a whole ass lecture, a whole mouthful pause about how I should be careful on the street and you shouldn't do that and blah, blah, blah. You know, maybe the experience of me almost ending up in an entire body cast kind of drilled that point home for me to look both ways before crossing. It's a very dense moment for me. And it wasn't as dense as something I would do in school. Now, you all are going to hate me for this. Like, I'm probably about to get, like, crucified by the internet after this. School lunch. I made it worse. And in the cafeteria, there was this traffic light. And when the light was green, everyone was allowed to talk, everyone was talking. And when the light turned red, I was that kid. Hmm? What kid were you, duck? Huh? I was that kid that shushed the class. Yeah, huh? yeah I was that kid. <laughs> yeah, I would shush the entire cafeteria like I was the like the class nerd. No wonder why I got bullied in elementary school. Hmm, starting to make sense now. Like, I would be like hella obnoxious with it too. I was like Drake type shit on it. Like, I was such a sheep bro is wild like a, a teacher could probably tell me duck jump off a bridge and i probably would listen and you bet your ass i would do it in the classroom too and something else i would do in class a lot was cry i'm not even joking in the first grade every single day i would just cry and my teacher would shit on me for crying which i don't even blame her because what the heck i was spoiled and not well liked in elementary school and i don't even know why tears were rolling down my face like i don't get it maybe i hated school back in my jit days maybe fresh out the womb I'm like, school. And then sometimes my brother would start crying and it would start like some chain reaction then my ass would start crying <laughs> anywhere i didn't like i just started tearing up I'm like bro someone should have told me like suck it up Pause. like i was on that charming ultra soft timing i could have cried anywhere maybe even out in the middle of nowhere maybe on a fucking snowmobile trail maybe maybe there too who knows but when i was a kid i loved snowmobiling because my dad would always take me on the trail i always wanted to drive my own so he got me like this little miniature snowmobile and holy fuck was this thing goofy but i still loved it and we were bringing like this trailer thing with us up there and we got there it was freezing but i was ready to go i was so excited to go like 10 miles an hour Woo anyways somehow even though i was going like a solid five to ten miles an hour i was driving around for like a couple days we, we stayed for like four or five days and on the last day i tried to do this stunt over a rock and like a shed it was like right next to it and then i I, I tried to jump over the rock and boom, I crashed it. I'm thinking of it now and I don't know what fucking trick I could have done. But yeah, long story short, that thing's broken. That shit was, that shit broke. And after that, it, it didn't really work well. And whenever I lost my DS privileges or just video game privileges in general, oh my God, I, I would be 
distraught. I'll be like bawling my eyes out for like two hours. I was like genuinely attached to my DS. Like it was like a love partner. And then the Wii was like my side hook. Yeah, that, that was an awful analogy. Don't listen to that. I'll like die for both of them. Like it was crazy. The first time I loaded up Pokemon, whenever my starter Pokemon fainted, like first time, I cried. Like I, I literally had an attachment with it or something. I was tearing up like I was hearing some fucking emotional speech at a panel. Like bro, just hit up the Pokemon Center and you'll be good. Now that you heard about my Timmy days, you know, not a lot of people talk about their middle school days. Now I got a couple embarrassing moments from my middle school that I just remembered. So this is why Feet Birdie is in the title. It was a nice fresh afternoon after football practice and we both got home. He was playing Clash of Clans. I was playing like some other mobile game and he put some mac and cheese into the microwave. We got the easy microwave mac and cheese and we were just absolutely distracted by like, I don't know, our Clash of Clans base or whatever, Boom Beach, just whatever banger mobile game we were playing. And this happened. Wait, what's that noise? Eh. I don't know. Wait, whoa, hold on. Why does it smell so bad, though? Smoky smell, no matter how fucking shit the house smelled, I still kept playing. And I heard the fan just super loud. It was getting louder, but it's still nothing for me. I was just so get invested in whatever mobile game I was playing. And then I hear Birdie say, oh shit, rushing towards the microwave. And th that mac and cheese was literally like starting to fucking flare up. That shit was on fire. And yeah, we had to hit that microwave with the little extinguisher. And I just remember my dad just screaming obscenities at Birdie. And a little bit at me because I did fucking nothing. I didn't think much of it. Like, I don't know how. I was and what happened was Birdie forgot to pour water into the easy bake, easy craft mac and cheese. I don't know how the fuck that wasn't in his video, but I said to put it in mine because, wow, that, that was a really dumb moment. Like, it's easy for a reason. You just pour water, bro. So he basically just threw dry pasta into the microwave. Like, I don't know what we expected. And, you know, something I really didn't expect was this really shady story when I was at my dad's work. And it really could have gotten bad if I was just a little bit more dense. So thank God it was at the level of stupid that I was. So this story starts out by playing us playing Pokemon Go. Me and Birdie, the dynamic duo, we're back. And we're out outside playing Pokemon Go at my dad's work. And this plaza that we went to at my dad's work, it was fucking stacked. And our limbs could be destroyed, but we'd still be walking around. Like, my legs literally felt like jello after the day was over. That's how much we did it. But that Dragonite spawn was crazy. So you know that Pokemon Executor, Executor, that Pokemon with the three heads and it was like a palm tree? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. That was nearby on the list. And I remember the power level on that thing was good in the game, so I really wanted it, and plus I didn't have it. And neither did Birdie, so we decided to look for it. And we were sweating our nuts off trying to look for this thing. And we were by this GameStop store. And we ended up getting it, which I'm so fucking happy we got it. Oh my god. Because if I didn't, who knows where if I would even be here today. Hopefully I wasn't, I wouldn't have been too dense in that alternate scenario. What happened basically was this guy rolled up on us, and he put his window down and said, did you guys find the executor? He butchered the name so bad. You, you already know. He didn't know fucking shit about Pokemon. But I will never forget these words. He said, I could take you for a ride in the car and we could go get it. And in my head, I'm like, whoa, whoa. So yeah, red flags were going up on my brain. Thank God. And I said, nah, we're, we're good. We, we got it already. And he's like, okay, you sure? And we're like, yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. And he drove off. And that was so shady. Oh my god. If I got abducted there, bro, it would have been all over the news. A local kid gets kidnapped for playing Pokemon Go. Chuck is at the scene. Chuck? So apparently there was an executor here and he, the kid the kid jumped in the car. And here I got this GameStop owner who has no fucking clue what he's talking about, but I'm gonna have him on here anyway. Yeah, that's how it would've went. If you enjoyed this video, I got you. I got another video right there just for you on the end screen. Go watch it now.